CSU athletes may seem like they are living the dream, but what goes on behind the scenes? Many collegiate athletes are actually experiencing extreme mental illness, which can oftentimes make them feel like they are living in a nightmare. I think there's that stigma that you have to be strong and you're tough because you're here and you're doing everything, but no one really sees what's going on behind the scenes. I think a lot of people face anxiety. They face that um, body image in athletics and you know, putting a lot of pressure on themselves, holding themselves to a high standard. A lot of it is body image issues. You know, I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, you look too athletic, you're not too athletic enough. It takes a toll on you. I feel like mental health is just as important as phys physical health, and you could definitely get injured if you're not in the right headspace. In early March, Stanford soccer player Katie Meyer took her own life. This tragedy shook up the athletic community and exposed some of the deep flaws in the lack of support student athletes receive for mental health. It was just hard to hear that because you would see videos of her performing in her sport and how happy she was and on a high. And just knowing that's what happened kind of just makes you step back and think about everything. It really hurts, you know, I mean, it just shows that sometimes even if you have the greatest things in the world, those things can really take a toll on you, and sometimes it's just too much to handle. Athletes at CSU are hoping for some better mental health resources soon. Society is changing, and taking a mental health break from athletics is becoming normalized. You know, we have on-campus like counseling, but they don't always know what athletics is like and what it's like to be a student athlete. The sports psychologists in specific like know about sports and like sports psychology, obviously, so being sent over to someone that doesn't really know that and know how to handle it, it's a lot harder to like talk about and kind of feel understood. We have a good like stigma around mental health here just in general with athletes, but I feel like there's not an actual, you know, direct route to actual health. Junior track athlete Maggie Smith decided to take matters into her own hands. She put together a group called the Hidden Opponent and brought it to CSU in hopes of helping her peers. The Hidden Opponent is a nonprofit organization dedicated to increasing awareness, education, and support in athletics for student athletes. Our goal is to end the mental health stigma in sports culture and encourage our student athletes to um, seek help for their mental health if they need it. My, my most important role as a campus captain is um, making sure that I'm being a mental health advocate in everything that I do. That means I'm checking in on teammates, sharing mental health resources, and encouraging conversations about mental health. After the Katie Meyer passing, I was like, something needs to happen, something needs to start. And it, I walked into the AC, or Moby that day, and I saw in the AC there was like an ad for it. And I was like, oh good, Someone, someone's already on it. I feel like at least a lot of the female athletes here know about it and I feel like that's a really good thing and like that's a good resource and like thing for us to go to.